Hey guys, welcome back to my show. My name is Ken Marco and this is Marco's Lifestyle. I asked you guys a bunch of questions on Instagram, Facebook, and Snapchat to send me some questions so I could do a Q&A for you guys. I have my phone here with all the questions. I am definitely going to answer all you guys questions I'm answering from all different platforms I do appreciate you guys for sending me your questions so if you guys like this video definitely go ahead and give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe it's that big red button at the bottom of your screen or on the side whichever way you might be watching this video and if this is your first time here again my name is Ken Marco my Instagram and all other social media will be linked in the description so you can go and follow me there if you want to keep up with my stories and my day-to-day -day life of the things that I post on social media so without further delay let's just get into the video so the number one question that you asked me you guys asked me and I guess you guys just wanted to jump right into it. What did you learn from 2018? 2018 for me was definitely a challenging year. I gained a lot of friendships, lost a lot of friendships, built old relationships. I became closer with my family, my mom and my dad. And it was just a year of forgiveness, tolerance and patience and knowing when it's time to let go. So 2018 for me was one of those years that just taught me lessons about how to let go of things and, and when it's no longer healthy to be in a relationship, intimate or, you know, not intimate. So I definitely learned a lot about forgiveness and letting go and moving on. What is your greatest accomplishment so far? The relationship that I have with my family and friends because I owe those things so very dear to me. And even though I've had accomplishments and I got my license last year to practice for my job, you know, that was that was one big thing for me. But I those things to me are so minute. It's like accomplishments that are education and job career wise i don't really hold extremely dear to me for some reason my accomplishments that i hold so dear to me are the accomplishments that i'm able to have with family and friends so over 2017 and 18 i just became extremely closer with my friends i've been a lot more open with them i'm an extremely private and extremely secretive person so a lot of my life I don't let a lot of people in and 2018 was the year that I got to be more closer to my family and closer to my friends and surprisingly I thought that my openness would have made us you know you know separate and more divided but for some reason that never happened like me being open with my family and friends literally brought us closer and it literally made us like a stronger unit next question is uh, what are you listening to right now i am listening to a bunch of different things <laughs> alien chloe i like alien chloe's song everywhere grown i like baby bird baby on a plane Kids are all right. We're also listening to Ellie Cyrus, a lot of Cardi B, a lot of Nicki Minaj, and I'm loving Drake's album Scorpion, a Nas, and I'm listening to surprisingly a lot of Lauren Hill. And I say surprisingly because I've been listening to mainly new tracks. That's what's on my playlist. But Lauren Hill and Bob Marley, for some reason, has been also playing a lot. I also listen to a lot of Todrick All. So Todrick All, Forbidden Album, I have that on replay all the time. Would you date a follower? If I were to be in a position where I'm single and we just happen to bump into each other on the street and, you know, and it turned out that you were following me on YouTube or Instagram or something like that, then sure. But if it's orchestrated, no. Next question is, you talk a lot about friendship. What does it take for someone to become your friend? 
Good question. I do talk a lot about friendship. Um, I post a lot of my friends on Instagram <laughs> because I love my friends so much. What does it take for you to become my friend or someone to become my friend? I think just genuine uh, personality, kindness, and respect. Um, and intelligence. People who are very intelligent, I'm extremely attracted to them. So kindness and respect, I think, plays the, the greatest role for me. I get turned off quite easy by someone who would disrespect someone else or treat someone lesser because they might not be in the same like financial place as them or they might not be as successful and wealthy as them. Like I get turned off by stuff like that. Friends, It's not that hard. I am not uptight. I'm actually very, very friendly and easy to, easy to get along with. Like, when did you know you love fashion? Wow. Okay, so this is a question I get asked very, very often. I knew I loved fashion, like, ever since I could, like, I learned to spell my name, I guess. I, I liked clothing. I didn't know it was called fashion, but I knew I liked styles, I liked colors, I liked texture. I love the art, so anything artistic is kind of like my thing. I remember being young and going to my neighbor's or our family member's house and they would have these magazines laying all around and I would look through like a Vogue magazine. I would envy the models, especially the male models because I wanted so bad to look like them. I wanted so bad to be able to wear the clothing that they were wearing. I wanted to be able to create the things they were creating because to me it was such beautiful clothing and it was such beautiful artwork and I just absolutely loved it. I absolutely wanted to be a part of it. So yeah. <laughs> This question is from a very good friend of mine, and I love her very much. What do you do in times where you don't have any motivation or drive? If you feel pressured, if you feel like you lack motivation for your dreams or for whatever, whatever it is that you're going for in life, it's okay to take a step back from it. Give yourself a break. And that's really what I do. I take a break and I try to find inspiration from other things or with other things to motivate me. And that's the best advice I could ever give you. I would just always say, no matter how difficult it seems, never give up. Just approach it from a different angle, a different perspective. That's how I deal with it. I just step back and breathe and start again. What are you watching? Okay, I watch a lot of Hulu and a lot of Netflix. I am watching Grownish. Love Grownish. Dating Around. I really love that show, Dating Around. Also love the TV show You. It's on Netflix as well. Who is your favorite influencer slash influencers? Okay. <laughs> I would say... My favorite beauty guru person to watch is definitely James Charles. Like I think James Charles and his brother is extremely funny. James Charles is extremely, extremely talented. I really love Jackie Aina. I really love Casey Neistat. I watch literally every single video Casey Neistat has ever done. Like, love watching Casey Neistat's videos. Um, from a lifestyle brand, I like Jen's Lounge, Teaching Men's Fashion, and One Dapper Street. I also like Nikita Dragon. Also on YouTube, the hair bloggers that I like are Nocturnal85 and Will. Will on a Whim. Oh, Geo's Wave. I really like watching Geo's Wave. Who is your favorite rapper singer? Okay. So I think what this person meant to ask is one, who is my favorite rapper and who is my favorite singer? Is Nicki Minaj is my favorite rapper. I personally feel like Nicki Minaj is one of the best rappers, not female rappers, period. Like, so to me, Nicki Minaj is one of my favorite 
um, rappers Drake, Kendrick Lamar, J. Cole, Jay-Z, Nas. Those are my favorites, you know. My favorite singer, um, I love Ariana Grande. I feel like she's extremely underrated. Ariana Grande can sing these girls under the table. That is my opinion. I really love Ariana Grande. Mariah, of course. I love Beyonce as a singer, but I love Beyonce as an entertainer more. I feel like Beyonce is like is like the pinnacle of entertainment success. Like, I don't feel like it gets any better than Beyonce. What is your favorite food? I don't have a favorite food. I never did. I'm very experimental. I find that these days I'm eating a lot of pasta and I'm trying to lose weight, so eating pasta and losing weight isn't, isn't you know. <laughs> but I do make a lot of salads and stuff like that. What are you wearing right now? But it's winter, so I'm wearing a lot of jackets and coats and blazers, and thermos, and thick winter socks, sweatsuits, tracksuits, and Timberlands, and Chelsea boots, boots in general, beanies, scarves. Because it's winter, I'm, I'm really into colors this season, so I'm wearing a lot of reds, oranges, greens, yellows, blues, pinks, purples. I'm wearing a lot of colors like those, so I don't, I don't know if that's what you meant. I hope I covered that. What is the last place you went on vacation? Where? I think I meant where is the last place I went on vacation. The last place I went to on vacation was Clearwater, Florida. I've not been on a vacation in a while. Um, I have a few places I want to go this year, Jamaica being one of them, um, and I really want to vlog that. Do you miss anyone or anything right now? Um, <laughs> yeah, well, I do miss my family because they live back home in Jamaica. But aside from that, no. There's no one or nothing that I miss. Oh, oh, oh. I miss going to the beach. I really miss going to the beach. I love going to the beach. So that's one of the things I'm looking forward to, going to Jamaica this year year and if the light is as changed it's because the sun went down <laughs> so it's a little bit darker than it needs to be but i'm just going to stop because there's a lot more questions and i'm just going to stop right here because this video is now 25 minutes long and i'm going to have to edit the crap out of this video so Thank you guys for coming and watching. I'm going to be uploading more frequently. I will let you guys know when I come out with a set schedule. And this video will be going up very soon. So, again, thank you guys for coming and watching. Um, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to like. And go follow me on all my social media. They will be linked down below. Don't be scared to hit me up in the comments. Ask me any questions you want to ask. I don't bite. I'm actually very nice. I respond back to you guys' questions very quickly. So if you guys have anything from me, you can also hit me up in the DMs on Instagram. Again, I'm very friendly. Your message is not going to be lingering there. And um, I'll definitely get back to you guys. So until next time, guys, my name is Ken Marco. This is Marco's Lifestyle. Bye!